So we're doing another dive into what's in your marijuana. We're pulling apart that alphabet soup on your label, help you figure out what it is you're consuming and what it's doing in your body. Yeah. So limonene, our citrusy buddy, and one of the most commonly found terpenes in the cannabis world. Uh, but it is important to note, I think, that terpenes are not cannabinoids. It's a completely different chemical, completely different compound, completely different thing. They, terpenes are actually found everywhere, all over the natural world, not just in cannabis. Uh, their terpenes are kind of responsible for the aromas, the flavors, even the colors of most plants. And, you know, believe it or not, even a few animals. I won't get into it, but it is. But when you think about terpenes, you got to think of like an essential oil, right? Uh, it's it's uh, going to smell really heavily, even taste really heavily, even though you're not supposed to consume essential oil, don't do that, of the thing it's supposed to be without having any of that plant material actually in there. And that happens all thanks to terpenes. So think of essential oils. So the essential oil of a lemon, for example, is going to be chock full of, bu -bu -bu -bum. you got it, you got it, lemonine. I'm so proud of you. I knew you knew that one. Uh, so think of all the lemon things you see in life, all the lemon things that have terpenes in them. Uh, lemon, limonene can be a flavor, it can be a fragrance. They use it as an insect repellent, an antibacterial, even as an industrial solvent. So lemonene is not just flavor and smell, it's all sorts of things. Uh, here's a fun fact for you, bet you didn't know this one. I bet you thought that a lemon is the thing that has the most lemonene in it. Is that what you thought? Well, you're wrong! Because it's an orange that actually, an orange actually has more lemonene in it than a lemon does. Ha ha, whip that out at the, at the next party you go to. You'll be the, the, the talk of the town there, huh? But lemonene also doesn't just hang out with citrus, right? Uh, you're going to find it all over the place. You'll find it in pine, rosemary, mint, fennel, even juniper. All my juniper fans out there, I bet you're excited about that one. So what does lemonene do in the body, right? So uh, lemonene interacts with the cannabinoid receptors just like THC does, CBD does, all the cannabinoids do, but it only does it about 10% as well, right? So lemonine on its own, it's not really going to do anything psychoactively really for you. You need a lot of it. But when, uh, when you combine it with other cannabinoids, specifically with THC, it does a lot with THC, uh, the cannabinoid receptors start firing off in ways they never ever did with just straight THC. And that's an example of the, uh, the entourage effect where the sum of the parts is greater, or the whole is, uh, uh, the sum of the, the, you know, the things add together to make the higher, uh, higher effect. Um, I wish I could said that better, but I didn't, so here we are. Uh, but lemonine is known to be a natural mood elevator, right? It's an antidepressant. Um, so when, you, when it's, it's uh, studies have found that when you combine it with THC, it has a significant reduction in feelings of anxiousness or nervousness uh, that are usually associated with straight THC. You know, in high doses, THC can, you know, trigger in feelings of anxiety, of panic. Uh, a lot of people have examples of that. But limonene can actually step in and kind of calm that anxiety down a little bit, kind of mediate the antagonizing effects of THC. And of course, you know, more studies need to be done. But there is evidence saying that uh, limonene can act as an anti-inflammatory, you know, taking down chronic inflammation, you know, a general cause of overall unwellness. Uh, they say it can be an antioxidant, you know absorbing those free radicals that are just tearing through the body like shrapnel uh, in the liver. It can uh, eliminate carcinogens. That's always a nice thing. It even can reduce tumor growth. So it has anti-cancer properties as well. I mean, limonene does everything. Uh, you find it in household cleaners uh, because of its antibacterial, antifungal, antimicrobial properties. Uh, citronella. It's in citronella candles in your 4th of July party driving those mosquitoes away from your burgers. Well, thank you for lemonine for that. Uh, the pharmaceutical industry, they're getting into lemonine because it actually is, uh, it helps uh, deliver medications topically through the skin. So, you know, like Medicaid appointments, uh, lemonine helps with that as well. So lemonine is an impressive little guy, huh? So if you want more lemonine in your diet, cannabis is there to help you out. If you really want to dive in, do your research, uh, there's always a certificate of analysis available for most kind of regulated products. That's kind of what, uh, where your label is getting all its information from. So if you go to your dispensary, they should be able to produce that. But if you really want to dive into what's in there, but you can always just ask your bud tender and they're going to direct you to those limonene loving strings we all appreciate like do -si do Miracle Alien Cookies, Gelato, things like Jack Herrera as well. So that's limonene, guys. We'll be back with more of what's in my marijuana.